Welcome to the Women in Leadership Body, Mind, Soul, and Business podcast. I'm Charlie. And I'm Heather. Together, we are working to connect women in leadership to build relationships and empower each other, improving the health and wellness of the community, body, mind, soul, and soul. Today's special episode, we are discussing grace, kindness, and gifts. Welcome to the podcast. We're so excited to do these holiday specials with you. And um, we want you guys to become part of the community. And we're going to start today a little different than we normally do um, as a special with a little loving kindness meditation for yourself. So why don't you, if you are driving, go ahead and pull over, take a seat, put your feet flat on the floor, uncross your legs and sit up comfortably, but um, awake and alert, right? You can close your eyes as long as you're not driving or doing something unsafe. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Staying calm, quieting the mind, quieting the body. And as you breathe, I'm going to read kindness. Kindness is one of the most forgotten, yes, most wonderful gifts you can give. It heals wounds and brightens days. It brings us together and reminds us that we are more similar than we are different. Sometimes it's easier to be cold and distant and harder to be warm and vulnerable. Choose kindness anyway. Be an encourager. Be someone who helps others. Give love. Have compassion. Stay humble. It is the little acts of kindness that make the biggest difference. From Walk the Earth. As you breathe in, feel the warmth fill your body. And as you exhale, feel the warm air escape between the lips. Breathing in and exhaling any doubt, negativity. Or unkind thoughts. Inhale goodness. And exhale what holds you. What stops you? As you breathe in and out, think about being warm and vulnerable. Take a couple of breaths. And think about how kindness makes you feel. Maybe think about a moment where someone was unkind to you and you chose kindness anyway. Think of a moment where someone needed some encouragement and you were their encourager. Think of a moment where someone needed help and you helped them. Think of a moment where someone needed love and you showed them love. Think of a moment 
or someone needed compassion and you showed them compassion. Stay humble, be kind, have compassion. It's a little act of kindness that makes the biggest difference. I want you all to take kindness and grace into your day today, opening up your heart, being vulnerable, letting people in, and sharing the kindness and grace with others. Namaste. Open your eyes, and we are going to get into our discussion today. Ooh, that was really awesome. Thank you. Aww. So <clears throat> grace is really powerful too, as we were um, mm -hmm. talking about grace and kindness and um, showing up for ourselves every day with grace um, and the tenacity to just keep showing up every day. Right. And um, showing up and giving yourself grace is not an easy thing to learn how to do. Right. Okay. That, um, that means accepting you for who you are, including the imperfections, right? Which we battle with every day because the societal norms tell us that we're not good enough. Right. No matter what we do, we're not good enough. Somewhere. 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 Somebody's judging mm -hmm. something. Something. Yep. Everybody has an opinion. Right. And we all know what opinions are like yeah. and everybody's got one. So um, <clears throat> anyway, showing up for yourself every day with grace and tenacity means showing up for yourself yes. in that moment. You know, you can show up for your family, you can show up for, you know, your boss, but every day when you wake up in the morning, do those things for you, you know, show grace and kindness to others because, you know, golden rule, you treat others as you would like to be treated. And the more grace and kindness you're showing yourself, the more mm -hmm. you're going to have to give. Yes. Because you won't be as feeling burnt out right because by giving yourself grace and kindness and um you are filling your cup and your cup's going to overflow and you're going to have plenty to share with others you don't run out of kindness right and the more you're showing kindness the more kindness the more you're sitting in that energy of kindness and working <laughs> with kindness so wouldn't you rather that spill over than the grumpy the mm -hmm. grumpiness mm -hmm. like uh, from not showing up every day like it makes a difference in your life in the direct lives around you mm -hmm. when you're showing up in grace for yourself every day right and to treat others with grace and kindness that feels really good when you get treated with grace and kindness doesn't it feel really amazing when you treat other people that way too and you know um compassion love kindness it has the same effect on people as showing them hate, discontent, anger, you know, frustration. It's contagious. It, it is contagious, right. both directions. Right. So why not share the positive one that makes people feel good, not the negative one that makes people feel bad? That's showing grace and kindness. That's where that energy, I think, of like the holiday seasons mm -hmm. comes from, right? Is right. everybody is having a little more grace, a little more kindness for each mm -hmm. other, being generous. Mm -hmm. That comes all together and it creates that holiday spirit. Right. That, you know, energy of giving. Yeah. Yeah. It, and it is an energy of giving and giving from the heart and doing the things that make, um, other people feel good and it's not necessarily about a physical tangible gift right exactly. because giving someone grace and kindness is a gift it is a very you know like gift. like i said 
Kindness is one of the most forgotten yet most wonderful gifts you could give, right? It allows you to connect with people and build meaningful relationships. Yes. Meaningful relationships. And when we have more meaningful relationships, we are more connected with each other. Mm -hmm. We feel better. Mm -hmm. Okay. And remembering that we are also human. We are um, pretty um, authentic. I mean, this is just us talking right right now. Um, we have notes because we have like an outline of things we want to talk about, but the words coming out of our mouth are real and in the moment and having that real authentic voice, um, is imperfect, right? Yeah. You're going to see us make mistakes. Right. So having grace with people around the fact that they're human, other humans, you know, um, it is super important because no one's perfect. Failure is a learning experience, right? You can either, um, you can be down in the dumps and have a negative attached to it, or you can think of it positively, right? That it's learning that you're growing. Mm -hmm. Um, instead of staying still, you tried something. That's always better than doing nothing. Right. And failure doesn't have to be a bad word either. Um, one of the uh, words, phrases that keep coming to mind over this last week is, um, what is it? Failing up? Failing forward. Failing forward. That's it. Failing forward. So, you know, um, when you fall physically, when you fall nine times out of 10, you'll fall forward. And guess what? You get back up again and you keep going. It's the same thing with anything else. You're going to fail, fail forward, right? Don't let that failure hold you back. Learn from it and keep going because that's, that's where you're really going to figure it out and you're going to find out where you shine. And when you do, if you're like failing and or you feel like you're failing and you feel like you're making the same mistake over and over again, then you could actually use that to create goals for a change. So we've talked a lot lately about habits and changing mm -hmm. one or two little habits. Mm -hmm. So um, if I'm feeling really bad, one of the habits we have is to um, drop three things we're thankful for, mm -hmm. to drop into thankfulness and gratitude. Mm -hmm. just immediately mm -hmm. and another thing that we've put in place here um at work is um when we're getting really frustrated with something and we're we're done we need a break a lot of the times you know the computer technology knows we need a break it starts you know acting up and we're like okay that's it time out universal intelligence is telling us nope <laughs> right <laughs> and then break. um we have a couple code words like if somebody just needs to take it, take it a personal time out, there's a code word for that, you know? And then there's also a- uh, If we need to circle back, like if we've gotten way off topic. Yeah. We, you yeah. know, cause we were, we are doing many things and maybe we know we're supposed to be doing a particular task at a particular time. We can circle on back. Right. And so there's a code word for that. And so um, having these, these things in place where everybody knows what the expectation is, I think is also really important, but also um, it shows grace and kindness, you know, if you can understand and, and take a minute. And we wanted to come from a very playful place with uh -huh. that because um, that's where we find our joy and mm -hmm. we want to have laughs and giggles. Mm -hmm. So if we're saying something silly, then we're like, okay, that helps us get back to there. Like, yeah. It helps change the channel Yes, in our brains, right? It breaks it up. It makes it not so upsetting and frustrating and things like that. Why? Because really in the grand scheme of things, what are we going to be stressed out about? So what if technology doesn't work? It's just a day, you know, whatever it's the case technology, may be. It's, it is learn something is. new every time. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, oh, we went to go uh, 
to do uh, like Zoom or Facebook often will move things around. So you mm-hmm. go to go live or you go to 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 do something. You're like, why is everything different again? <laughs> like you just gotta roll with it. I I call it being fluid. Um, but that is a form of giving it grace and not letting it have like power and control over you. Right. You choosing how you're going to show up in right. that moment. Um, I've got a couple of quotes for when, you. When um, my kids were little, we watched this show called Special Agent Oso, and it was mm-hmm. this little bear. And um, he would say... Um, it's all part of the plan more or less because he would always make a mistake and that was part of like the show was to teach that you can do it wrong and then learn how to do it right and he would do it in three simple steps and there's a cute little song but yeah I always like that it's all part of the plan more or less more or less um I've got a couple quotes uh for you guys today around the subject of grace and kindness um because not only do you have to remember grace and kindness for yourself, but also grace and kindness for others. Do at least one thing for yourself every day to show yourself grace and kindness. Start pointing out what you love about yourself rather than what you hate. Give yourself compliments. It's okay. It doesn't mean you're self-absorbed or conceited or any of that stuff. Um, when we love others and engage in kindness and mercy, we actively bring heaven to earth. Mm. We can change somebody's world just by being kind. Wow. Just by being kind. Grace is when someone hurts you and you try to understand their situation instead of trying to hurt them back. Ooh. right let me read that one again grace is when someone hurts you and you try to understand their situation instead of trying to hurt them back that is the right? actual act of grace yeah that right is there. the act of grace if somebody um says something or does something that hurts your feelings or hurt, you know uh whatever the case may be and instead of taking that personally right one of the four agreements don't right. take anything personally oh, there it is again. <laughs> you try to understand where they're at because that's their story right another one of the four agreements anything other people do has nothing to do with you that is their dream bam right there show grace show kindness it's not about it's not about you that doesn't mean, you know, you don't have to, to have boundaries. That's right. not what we're saying. Right. You can show grace and kindness and still hold your boundaries. Yes. And still hold your beliefs. All right. I've got a couple more here for you. What do we got? Um, we don't have to agree on anything to be kind to one another. I think that's a big one right now. And I think it's really important for um to be heard that we don't have to agree on anything to be kind to one another we are all on (laughs) the same the same boat right we're all on the same planet let's let's live in peace and quiet with another and then um i'm gonna finish up with this one be kind or just be quiet (laughs) <laughs> right back to thumper if you can't say anything nice don't, don't say, say nothing at all. all right yeah <laughs> um and i think that's also part of showing people grace and kindness if your reaction is an adverse reaction and you want to um maybe not be so nice not be so kind just keep your mouth shut and scroll on whether it's on your phone you know on social media or in person scroll on just it's not even so worth for me getting if, yourself upset over if someone keeps showing up like in my social media feed that's creating that reaction in me mm-hmm. I will unfollow them if it's somebody that I you know love and know personally mm-hmm. if it's someone I don't know personally 
I'm bullied. Unfriend them. <laughs> it's okay. Like you don't need not that even energy. notice um, because sometimes, um, like uh, social algorithms, if you have a lot of people in your list, only like two percent of them will show up in your feed. Mm -hmm. So even changing that up, maybe change the energy in your feed, and you have a new feed, and you all you did was unfollow a couple people that are not bringing the kind of joy and grace that you need. The kind life. of energy, right? And why would you, why would you get upset at somebody else for something that is on them versus, um, you know, wh why, why let that affect your own energy? Why bring that into your, why take ownership of that? You know, um, so um, grace and kindness, um, to others is also grace and kindness to yourself. Yes. Okay. Setting those boundaries, holding those boundaries, but, and being willing to walk away in an unkind situation. We all face them. It happens, but let's try to be good humans about it. And, um, <clears throat> if something needs to be said, obviously it needs to be said. If somebody is hurting somebody else, it should be stopped. Right. Right. We're not, just, we're, we're not, not saying that, not saying that, you know. um, but if, if I'm looking in the mirror and mm -hmm. I'm saying horrible things in my head, right. I need to change that. Mm -hmm. You need to change that and you can change that. Mm -hmm. Take, take a few minutes and sit in front of a mirror and write down all the words that come to mind. You will be amazed. Set the timer for like three minutes and write down all the words that come to mind when you look at yourself in the mirror. There's going to be good ones and there's going to be bad ones. And I want you to think about that. When you look at yourself in the mirror, what you tell yourself, your soul hears. Yeah. The universe hears that. So tell yourself good things, positive things, compliment yourself, you know, really build yourself up because that confidence comes from the inside out. I started reading um, the five or the high five habit by Mel Robbins. And I really like the idea that we've been high fiving, you know, our whole lives. So like we give each other a high five and we're just like all in, like, yeah. Woo! Woo yeah. <laughs> so the idea is when you go to give yourself a high five in the mirror, you actually can't seriously give yourself you know, say something awful about yourself. Mm -hmm. And so if you start each day by looking in the mirror and giving yourself a high five, you are validating yourself. You're complimenting yourself. Mm -hmm. You're giving yourself that boost. Right. So I, I think I was surprised by the science behind it. Mm -hmm. And I, I love Mel Robbins. She always gets to the point of it for me. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, I better, I better, I better listen to this book. I like to listen to her audiobooks. And um, yeah. So yeah. high five. High five habit. High five habit. Yeah. And um, there, uh, there's going to be a, Re audio recording of a um, grace and kindness type um, sutra on our YouTube channel um, for you guys to listen to and um, and, and and what that is is that's part of um, our new format yep we're so, changing things up you guys um, we wanted to go ahead and have a, a little discussion about that sutra mm -hmm. yeah um, so, uh, and honestly, it's a lot of the stuff that we just talked about, you know, showing each other grace and kindness while also holding your boundaries and, um, showing yourself grace and kindness, right. Um, putting that positive energy out in the world and, you know, you don't have to take on other people's crap. Right. Okay. Um, we tend to do that a lot as women because we're very empathetic and things like that. Don't take on other people's crap. I'm going to say it again. Don't take on other people's crap. If their energy is crap, if their um, outlook on life is crap, if you're around that friend, then all they do is complain. Maybe minimize your 
your um little tiny doses little tiny doses <laughs> you know be like I love you friend but I'm gonna love you from a okay. little farther okay. away because um you don't need that kind of energy in your life uh, but we do have some um other announcements uh we're going to be posting the the weekly reading on the youtube channel so make sure you are liking and subscribing to the youtube channel our podcast recordings will also be posted there um which they have been actually the last few weeks and um heather is also doing social media type trainings um which will also be posted on there um so make sure you follow along on all that stuff and um we're really excited about that what else we got so uh later this week we have um another special um podcast um on hope faith and stories hope faith and stories and then um on the 29th we will be back live with special guest leslie rochelle december 31st our goal setting episode with Allie Jean, and then later on uh, that evening, our New Year's Eve end of our year Zoom party, um, which we would like as many people to join us as they can. And all the information for that will be posted on our Facebook page. Yes. Um, we are breaking out right now, almost to the end of January. So we are so grateful. And um, so there will be many new changes coming in January. Mm -hmm. We are very excited for, um, oh, I got some goosebumps. So for oh, uh, for so um, the welcome we have gotten from the community and how much everyone is enjoying this time with us. And um, thank you so much, everyone. Mm -hmm. January 3rd, Women Empowering Women Business E-Summit. We have been asked to be speakers at that. Um, we would like you guys to join us and follow along at uh, Visibility U. It's on Facebook. Um, and the E-Summit will be posted on Facebook and YouTube. So, And it will be really um, three separate time blocks. Um, every day of the week, mm -hmm. and so we'll be talking. They'll be talking. She'll be talking with um, different women in leadership, and we'll all be we're coming together to empower each other. And we're really excited to be part of that community. Mm -hmm. so come hang out with us. We're so come excited, and it's free because she's all about giving back to the community right now. And looking ahead, um, we are looking at starting an evening edition once a week of our live recordings and we may even move to three podcasts a week um and we love your guys's feedback and we try to um work with that and, and learn from that and see how we can improve um so uh, constructive criticism positive feedback is always awesome. welcome be awesome. kind you guys thank you so um much. but so thank far, you everyone so far been. everyone has been kind continue to be kind to one another um, show each other kindness and grace. Also, in um, preparation for our goal setting podcast, we've been putting mm -hmm. together some um, uh, documents. I don't know, like, like, what do we say? Without saying that, like, um, <laughs> some planning, planning PDFs, PDFs, um, um, some videos. Yeah, and we're putting emails. together a an entire course for you guys on goal setting. And we're super excited about uh, where that's going to take us. So if you'll see the link tree, you can get signed up for our email subscriber list. Mm -hmm. And then you could be one of the first to know about it when we get are ready to drop the information. Mm -hmm. um, we'll send it out to our email list. Oops. Yep. We've been doing lots of brainstorming, planning, and um, getting materials put together for you guys. So we're super excited about that. Uh, who's ready to rock 2022? Woohoo! Woo I am. Okay. Um, make sure you follow us in all the places, download our podcast. Um, we're on Instagram, we've got TikTok, Clubhouse. Um, we're still learning how, about Clubhouse. We're still learning about Clubhouse, but yeah. we're getting in there. If you're over there, invite us. Maybe we can come <laughs> support you too, because we're still learning. We're still learning. And I think I think that's pretty much it. We uh, I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, um, Heather Ross Wellness Ambassador, 
Schema Forge Virtual Gaming, Studio 5 Glam, The October Co. And you. And, and Warrior Yoga with me. Um, if you're interested in being part of the podcast, please skip, feel free to give us an email at womeninleadershipbsmb at gmail.com. Um, or you can see the link in our link tree. And we have this cool thing called Calendly. And you can set an appointment up with us. And we'd love to chat. And also, um, if you would like a shout out during our podcast, you can become a sponsor. So um, that's another thing. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor, shoot us an email. We'll get you all the info. We'd really appreciate your love and support moving forward because we've got some really big plans. Um, Thank you so much for joining us today in the Women in Leadership Body, Mind, Soul, and Business podcast. Without you, this community wouldn't be the same. Join us next time. Namaste. Namaste. Merry Christmas.